Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. good evening. Welcome, everybody. How are you guys? It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. How are you guys? I'm great. Happy? More Happy. Yes. Tired. Tired? Oh, I am sorry. Yes. Even it's Monday, little Carlos. It's Monday. It's Monday. Yes, but Black Monday. Week is coming. Um, what? Sorry? Black Week is coming. Oh, yeah. Black 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 Black. I don't know. Yes. So we are, we are preparing the stories. All right. Stories. All right. Yes, I understand now. I understand now. Yeah, it is true. It is true. I, like, I think it's this week, right? This week. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's this one. Tomorrow. Like, yeah. Tomorrow is the 22nd. All right. People, it's a pleasure to be here again. It's Monday. It's a beautiful day. Yes, of course. Every day is a beautiful day. Yes. We just have to enjoy the moment and enjoy the day. People, excellent. Good to see you again. We're gonna start right now. Uh, I know some of you are not available and thank you for letting me know. Yes, thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, today we're gonna be reviewing a few things and talking about English, you know, in general. All right, but before we do that, I'm going to take attendance in about three seconds. Okay, let's start. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. No, Carlos is not here yet. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. No, Carlos. Carlos and Carlos, no. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. No. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. No, oh, okay. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Emerson. Good evening, teacher. Con Roy Calix. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Vladimir Rodriguez, present. Hello, Vladimir. How are you? I am fine. And you, teacher? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. Yes, he's there. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Hi, Imelda. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Let me continue with Joanna Lisbeth. Present teacher. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. I think he's not here yet. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Ochoa. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, right. Jose, Jose Gerardo. Present teacher. Hi. Thank you, Gerardo, for being here. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Okay, now. Luis, no. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. Present. Hi, good evening. Thank you for being here. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Hi, good evening, Julius. Thank you for being here. Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. Here. Hi, Neftali. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Oscar Noe Magaña Martinez. Oscar is not here yet. Sara Abigail Lopez Portillo. Present teacher. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Uh, let me see. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltran. Present teacher. Hi. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Hi, the class. Jansi Kelita Olivares Raimundo. Present teacher. Hi, Jansi. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Carla Eugenia Hernandez Solet. Solet, se le va a servir eso a Telo. Present teacher. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granados. 
Tarek is not. Okay, yes, she's, she's there, she's there. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, Carlos and, and, and uh, Janet. Thank you for being here, people. It's an amazing day to continue learning. Yes, it's beautiful, people. Beautiful, beautiful, and yeah. super beautiful. Let's start. I will show you, or, well, let's start with this. I'm sharing a presentation with you people. Uh, I need you to confirm if you if you see it. Yes, teacher. Yes. I don't see you people. Oh, there you are. I don't see you. Okay, look at this. Today's topic is phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Okay. Yes, that's the topic that we have for today. You might be, you may be familiar with this. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Well, we're gonna find out later on. This is class number 14. Okay, today is Monday. Thank you guys. And welcome everybody for thank you for being here. Look, and it says over there, it says over there part number one. So that means there is a part number two. Okay, look at this. Uh, let's review. Let's review Friday's topic, people. On Friday, we were talking about idioms. People, can you tell me what an idiom is? ¿Qué es un idiom? Guys, what is an idiom? People, hello. What is an idiom? Popular expression. Okay. Uh, an we, idiom. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, last week I told you that that the, the things, the idioms, are a group of words. Okay, they are a group of words, some group of palabras. Okay, that that don't have a literal meaning. Okay, que no tiene un significado literal, right? Yes, that's what I told you last week. And we were practicing these ones. People, what is as sick as a dog? What is this? Tell me. People, hi. Enfermo como un perro. Right, no. <laughs> Extremely, right? Extremely sick or very sick. As sick as a dog, very sick or extremely sick. All right. Under the weather, people, what is under the weather? Aquí dice bajo, el clima. bajo el clima, right? But no, under the weather means sentirse mal. Sentirse mal. Exactly. Sentirse mal, right? Excellent. Under the weather, sentirse mal. Yes. And the other one, it says, there's something going around. People, there is something going around. ¿Qué dijimos que era esa? Algo está pasando. Algo raro. Exactly, right? Algo está pasando, right? That's what it is. My stomach, my stomach is killing me. What about this one? My stomach is killing me. Yes, my stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. Right? Oh, that's what it is. What about take it easy, people? Take it easy. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Be tranquilo, relájate, right? That's what it is. People can't afford. Can't afford. What is can't afford? Guys? Que dimos que era. Darse el lujo. Darse el lujo de, right? Darse el lujo de. What about the next one? We got call in sick. What is call in sick? Call in sick people? People, hello. Call in sick? Reportarse de enfermo? 
reportarse enfermo. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. And the last one, tip top shape. What is this one? Tip top shape. Mm -hmm. En buena salud, con buena salud. Exactly, okay. Tener buena salud, right? Estar bien. These, these idioms are the ones from the book, okay? Lo que estaban en el libro son los que están acá. Lo que estaban en el libro. También les mostré otros que son muy comunes, que usualmente se ven, okay? Y son estos que están acá. Look. We also, well, we didn't practice this part that much, okay? But... We, we, we kind of did better late than never, people. Better late than never. What is it? Más vale tarde que nunca, right? Better late than never, más vale tarde que nunca. What about the other one? A blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. People? Como encontrar algo mejor que no esperaba. Exactly right. Vine buscando plata y encontré oro. That's what it is. Yes. Okay. What about break a leg, people? Break a leg. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Suerte. Good luck. Call it a day. Call it a day. ¿Qué dijimos que era call it a day? Terminarlo. Yes, like it. Finalizar un día, right? Like, like, concluir un día de trabajo, right? That's what it is. Get out of hand. What about get out of hand, people? Salirse de control. Salirse de control. Okay, salirse de control. Get out of hand. Hang in there. What is hang in there? Espera. Mm -hmm. Espera. Right. Espera, eh, de paciencia, right? Ten paciencia, espera. Right, that's what it is. Hit the books. What is hit the books? You hit the books, right? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Guys, hit the books. Study. Study, right? Study. Study. Yeah, right? Study. Hit the sacks. What is hit the sacks? Um, it's sleep, right? Sleep. That's what it is, sleep. What about speak of the devil? Exactly, right? Hablando del rey de Roma, speak of the devil. Yes. What about this one, a perfect storm? A big problem, right, a big problem. Actions speak louder than words. People, actions speak louder than words. Hacer más y hablar menos. Yeah, basically, basically. Break the ice, eso es fácil. Break the ice, romper el hielo, right? Eso es literal. Literal, de, 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 me refiero de que no es que van a romper el hielo, right? You understand, right? Have a conversation with a person. Socialize. And bite the dust, people. Bite the dust. Morder el polvo, right? That's what it is. Morder el polvo. Now, this is what we were practicing la, la, last, uh, last week or on Friday to be more specific. Okay, it's just a, a quick review. Later on, we're going to see something related to phrase of verbs, but we're going to see the definition and all related to phrase of verbs. Right now, let's stop and let's go. I want to show you what's in the book. This is the book. Okay, look, acá está el libro. Yes. People, let me know if you see the book, please. Yes, teacher. All right, all right. Okay, people, we continue talking about troubleshooting, okay? Troubleshooting, that's unit number three, as you can see on the top of the year. All right. And uh, this is today's objective. I will be able to ask and answer questions to check the maintenance procedures are met. Let me repeat it. I will be able to ask and answer questions to check the maintenance procedures are met. Okay, that's what it is. 
Now let's continue or let's just start. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment, people? This question is for everybody. Who is the person that fixes the, the equipment in your company? Guys? Yes, that's what they need. I'm sorry? The staff of maintenance. The maintenance staff. Okay. What else, people? In my case, my boss. Okay, your boss, your boss, all right. Maintenance, maintenance staff, the boss. What about you, Luis? Luis, hi. Um, manager. Your manager? The manager, the manager, all right. Eduardo, what about you? Who fixes the damaged equipment? No, no, Sorry? No, no, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, all right, all right. That's, that's okay. Joanna, what about you? Me fui teacher, <laughs> perdón, que me estaba preguntando. The question is here, number one, who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? That's the question, who is in your company? In your company, who is the person that fixes damaged equipment? The engineer. Okay, the engineer, all right, all right. No, in my company, I don't use machinery. Okay, you don't use machinery? All right, all right. Okay, I understand. Only, only, um, plotter, a plotter for oh. impression, for impression, a plotter de impression. And when that, when that equipment is, is damaged, who fixes that? Es, eh, se llama productor audiovisual. De okay, all right. Person. Okay, I understand. I understand. The audio producer. That's the one. Mm -hmm. The audio producer. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Let's continue. Look, people, what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? This one is, is simple. Okay, what are, it says there, what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? Can you measure some, some equipment that gives you problems? Sensors in the equipment. Okay, sensor in the, okay, sensor. Sensor in the equipment, okay. What else? In my case, computer. Okay, the computer, all right. The computer gives you problems, okay. People, who else, who, what else? The camera. Okay, the camera, all right, all right. What else? The printer. The printer, that's the most common one. Yes. Well, in my case, projectors, because I have a, proje a projector, so the projector, sometimes it doesn't work or it gives problems. People, what else? For some companies that work online, yes, the system is down. The, the air, air, condi air okay. conditioner. Okay, the air conditioner, okay. That's true, that's true, that one too. Okay, okay. There are many, many pieces of equipment that gives us problems. Let's continue here with this one in part number two. Listen to your fantastic teacher and read the conversation. Then practice. <laughs> Hello, people. Then practice with a partner. Hello. Okay. Pay attention to the words here. Okay. Pay attention to the words there. All right. Yes. We. Oui. Excuse me. Just one more. Okay. Let me read, people. 
Listen, listen to me. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten it, tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't do it, if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, there are some vocabulary. Uh, there are some vocabulary here, people, that might be confusing. Okay, but let's let's do it. Tell me questions, people. Preguntas sobre el vocabulario. Me teacher, I'm so. Yes. Cisa. Sorry? Cisa. No. La última. Yes. Cisa. Cisa. Cis. También se puede size, pero no, eso no, 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 no es muy común. O sea, le digan cis. Cis. Cisa. Cis. Cisa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cisa means get damaged. Arruinarse, dañarse. Yes. Seize up. Arruinarse o dañarse. Yes. People, more questions? The first one. No sé cómo lo pronuncia. Tom is the name of the person. No. La primera you que see. marcó. You said the first, you said the first one. Eh? <laughs> Technically speaking, I, I was right. Okay. Tying up. Apretar. Yes. ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? Tain up. Tain. No es tighten, ok. Es tain. 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 Tain up. Tain. Tain. Hace el sonido. Tain. Tain. ¿Qué era, dijo? Apretar o ajustar. Tornillo. Teacher, pronunciation yes. the spanner. 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 Dabe inglesa, ok. Yes. Dabe o dabe inglés. What else, people? Call up. Call up. This one. Llamar. <laughs> Very much right. Yes, that's what it is. Teacher, switch off. Ah, apagar. Turn off and switch off is lo mismo. Okay, son sinónimos. Okay. Yes. Y puede decir switch on. Yes. Yes. Es que turn, turn es, es un, es un, uh, es el botón que se gira. Okay. Y el switch no se gira, es el switch es como el de la luz, que se baja o se sube. Eso es switch, cambiar. El turn es girar. Yes, that's why. That's the difference. Yes. Okay, people, more questions? No, we're good. We are amazing, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, people. Let me read this again. I'm going to read slowly. Please, please listen to the pronunciation. And I will be checking in uh, monitoring in the groups. And uh, if I hear mispronunciation, you will see. Okay, let's do this. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Screw tornillo, okay? People, screw tornillo. También desarmador. Ok. Yes. También atornillar. Sorry. Ok. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? 
the engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil regularly, oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay, people, we got the conversation. We're going to practice that. Okay, now so let's go to part number three. Look, discuss the questions below. These questions below, we got three questions. Okay, yes, about the conversation. Okay, acerca de la conversación. Practicamos y hacemos la parte tres. Okay, people, let's do it. Hold on. Okay, I think we're ready. Here we go. People, let's go. Vamos. Teacher, los dos que me ha puesto son oyentes, dice ahí. I'm sorry. Estoy improvisando. Y no me hacen caso y me siento sola. Ok, espérenme. Ya está. Tengo para el número 6. Ok. Donde está la macizada, mándenme. Ok, ok. Gracias. Did because I asked him to switch up the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. Turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will. Six, six up every, 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 eventually. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. That correct. Eventually. That that is correct. Neftali, se usa practicamos. Okay, no sé qué empezaría. Si quieres, ahí está. Ajá, y usted es Dave. Yo soy Dave, ¿o cómo? Yes. ¿Sí? 
Ah, okay. Uh, tell I need your help. Can you pass me your spinner, please? I need to turn off this screw. Sure. Here you go. Uh, thanks a lot. Look, the kid cleaned up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to sweep. Excuse me. No, sorry, sorry. I asked him to switch off the power. Great, but the way do you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have the problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. Thanks, all right. That's correct. Okay, okay. All right. People, remember, you have to do part number three, okay? Okay. I will come back. We will get Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, I will see up eventually. 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 That's eventually. correct. Okay. Don, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? Spanner, spanner, not spinner, spanner. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> it's okay. Honor. Please, I need to tips tips up. What is the pronunciation? Sitting up. Uh, tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten tighten. up this tighten. 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 Dining up this script. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, <laughs> sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Ray, by the way, did you call up? Call up. I see this. Yes. Call up. Okay. Call up. Call up. Did you call, call up the electrician? The engineer doesn't stop to turn off and know we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't own it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay. The correct one. Doesn't stop turning off. Yes. It's not it's not stop to turn off, no. Stop turning off. Ah, so it doesn't stop turning up. Yes. I use it to turn up, but it's a two no one. Okay. Turning off. Okay. What about the question? What about the question okay. in part three? Okay. What seems to be the problem? What seems uh -huh. what seems to be the problem? Okay. Sí, parece. ¿Cuál parece ser el problema? De, maqui de maquina hoy. Uh -huh. I don't know. De maquinaria, teacher. Machinery. 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 Ah, okay. Machinery, machinery. 
Machinery. Yes, machine, ne, ne, machinery. Continue, guys, with part number three, please. Okay, okay. You a little bit later. Okay. Please. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, did you call up the electrician? He Angie doesn't stop to turn up, and now we have a problem. Yeah. I think I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will stay up eventually. Seize up. Seize. Seize up. Uh, it will seize up eventually. 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 Excellent. Regular. Regularly. 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 Regu, regu, regularly. 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 Uh -huh. regularly. Is it or tirena? The primera, the first one? Yes. Es sin la T. Escuchen la primera palabra. Esto que está acá es la T es tight. Tight, que es apretado. Un adjetivo que es apretado. Tight. Okay, tight. Um, tight. Ahora, tight. esto que está acá es ten. Digamos, tight ten, tight ten, right? Tight ten. Entonces, uh, para, uh, para decirlo bien, quitémosle la T. Esta que está en medio. Tight ten. Tight Díganlo sin esa T. Tight ten. Tight ten. Tight ten. Tight ten. Tight ten. Tight ten. Pero que no es eso que está acá, no es, no es en, no es, no es en, sino que es como un sonido de en, tai, en, 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 Engine. Engine. Creo que con eso, esas son las que. Okay. Regular, regularly. Regular. 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 Este trabajo se parece a, a, que, a, a talla, talla, que es size. Pero es un size. Es size up. Size. Size up. Size up. Ah, parece como si fuera size de, de talla, pero no es size. Solo la palabra this significa aprovechar. Eso. Espérenme, lo voy a apuntar. Regu, reg, regu. Ajá, regularly, regularly. Ok, people. Continue with part number three, please. Please. See you later. Ok, bye. ¿Qué tipo de trabajo? Ay. Perdón. ¿Qué tipo? ¿Qué tipo de trabajo hacen David en... o tienen David en tono? Electricis, serán los eléctricos. O serán como eh, workers, 
es Factory. ¿Cuál poner? Según la conversación, dice... Como en una... Ajá, porque electricistas no son ellos, ellos piden que llegue. Sí, llamen, ajá, el electricista. Algo así como factory workers o workers factory, no sé cómo es. Yeah, I'm listening, okay? You're burning, you're burning your brain cells. Engineers. The engine doesn't stop to work, to run. Uh, no, no, no. Cambio esa parte, pero el principio dice, doesn't stop turning off. Please. In the chat, doesn't stop turning off. Eso que está ahí no es, no es correcto. Yes. Um, le está diciendo que el motor se apaga en cada momento, teacher. No, 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 yes, yes. Lo que pasa es que está mal escrito. No, no sabía así correctamente. No está correctamente correcto eso. Ah. Falta este, esta parte, borrémosla. Y aquí ponemos el ING al turn. ¿No está Turning. Ajá. Y Turning. Y tenemos el tu. Okay. Stop turning okay. off. Ok. El tu. Y por continuo. El part 3. What kinds of what kind of jobs would, do you think Dave and Tom have, people? <coughs> Engineers. Probably. Okay. Production. Okay, production workers. Factory Probably. workers. Factory workers, that one too. Yes, yes, of course. Remember, this one is your, your, your own perception, okay? That's your own perception because it says here, do you think, tú piensas? ¿Qué más dijeron? Eh, todo lo que pensamos, las tres opciones. O solo una podemos. The production workers. Pro, ah. And number three says, who is in charge of checking the machinery and the equipment at your workplace? Okay, people continue with that one. I'm going to continue checking the groups. Okay, let me go to the last one. Um, como electricista. No. no. Se está, dentro del texto piden llamar a electricidad. Ah, sí, es cierto. No, le dice, sí lo hizo, sé que lo hizo porque le pedí que apagara la energía. Can you please practice the, the conversation? Eduardo de Imelda. Oh, okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spinner, please? 
I need to tighten up the screen. Sure. Tighten up. Tighten. Tighten. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Sure. Thank a lot. Look, he keep cleaning up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to ask with all the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The journey does don't stop the tour off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't all all irregularly, it will say suit eventually. Exactly. Is that is is that that's is correct? That eventually. Is that is that that's correct? That, that's correct. Okay. Switch switch roles, please. Arriba, teacher. Después de I need you to. ¿Qué cómo se dice eso de eso? Lo negrito. Tighten. 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 Tight. This is M. Tighten. 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 Tighten up. Tighten up. Tongue, I need your help. Can you pass me the spinner, please? Hammer. Explain it, please. I need you to uh, time uns discreet. Sure, here you go. Thank you a lot. Look, did kids clean out the room before he left? Recordemos que esa U se dice up, okay? Se dice up. Clean up, clean up. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call at the electric electrician? The engineer doesn't Indian. stop. <coughs> engine doesn't stop to turn off and know we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will speed up eventually. That's correct. It, it will uh, seize up eventually. Six up eventually. Eventually. Six up eventually. 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 All right. Did you do part number three? Let's go down there. Come on, part, part three. What seems Eso to be the problem? Haciendo. Don't oil it regularly. Okay, don't oil the, the machine regularly, okay. Or that the engine doesn't stop to turn off. Number two, what kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? Uh, mechanical. Okay, they might be mechanic. 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 Okay, they might be mechanic, all right, all right. They are mechanic. Uh, they are mechanic. Who is in chain of checking the machine and the keep on the workplace? Uh, who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? No, this is you. This is this is at your at your company. Ah, okay. Continue, don't worry, don't worry. Continue. Volveré. Hi guys. Uh, hello, teacher. Okay. Solo peso pesado aquí. 
<risa> Me tocó con los grandes hoy. Exactly, exactly. <risa> pues sí. <risa> por peso pesado, ¿eh? Con el mero, mero, con los ¿Lo, mero. ¿Lo dices por gordos? <risa> no. <risa> no, no, no. Ok, people, please. Puede estar. Hey, I start. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need it to that up the screen. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kid clean it up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, right, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that it, that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up, seize up eventually. Eventually. That's correct. Eventually. That's correct. That if that if that's okay. You can you can continue. Okay. Comienzo y ahora. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Yes. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, regularly, it, it will cease up eventually. That's correct. All right. I think Bernardo is not available yet. He's sleeping now. <laughs> he's sleeping. Relax, relax. No, he's not sleeping. Okay, let's go to part number, number three, people. Part three. Okay. This what seems to be the problem? Guys, what's the problem? What seems to be the problem? Well, in my case, I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> right? Me, 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 me neither. Me neither. How do me you neither. say? Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. neither. Uh -huh. Me neither. With N? Sorry? The, the okay, problem then. is the engine. Ah. I don't know what happened. The second question, what kind of, kind, kind of jobs do Dave and Tom have? They are maintenance staff. They are the maintenance staff, okay. And uh, it says, who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? The maintenance staff and the IT department, not the TI department, the IT department, al revés. Okay, IT, IT significa information technology. Oh, okay. yes. Information technology, okay. La gente de compu. <laughs> yes. System. Exactly, exactly. Los masters. <laughs> the, the, hackers. Yes. the hackers. <laughs> no, no, no. Te lo ven en un video en YouTube, ya. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right. Okay, people, okay. do you have any questions? No. Okay, no, teacher. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the main session right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. We are back. Hemos vuelto.
almost everybody is back. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. People, a quick reminder, tomorrow is the last day to complete the week number three or the session number three in the platform, okay, please. Okay, now that we're back, we're going to double check. Okay, vamos a revisar otra vez. And we got a question here. The first question, what seems to be the problem, people? What seems to be the problem? Que me digan ustedes. What seems to be the problem? The problem is the engine doesn't stop turn off. Okay. The engine doesn't stop to turn off. That's what it says. Okay. The, the, the engine doesn't stop turning off. Okay. Okay. That's, that's I think that's the one of the most obvious problems. Another problem is that the, the engine is not oiled enough, okay? That's muy, muy, mucho, mucho aceite, all right? Second question, okay, we're just double checking, okay? Uh, the second question, what kind of jobs do Dave and Tom have? What do you think, do you think Dave and Tom have? Staff maintenance. Okay, the maintenance staff. Está maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance staff. Maintenance staff. Uh -huh. Maintenance staff. What else? I saw mechanic over there, mechanics. More maintenance staff. Machines. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The IT department as well. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. I was just double checking, okay? I was just double checking. Because we got some uh, weird answers. And the last one is easy, is, is, is personal, okay? Let's continue or let's just start. Okay, let me, people, let me take attendance or update the attendance real quick. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present teacher. Hi. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Cecilia Yasmin Menjivar Soto. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, teacher. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara. Present, teacher. Yes, hello, Francisco. Present, teacher. Joana Lisbeth de Canales. Present, teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Yes, he's working. He said. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Here. Neftalí Humberto Ramírez Ramos. Here. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Yancy Kelita Olivares Raimundo. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. And uh, Karen Janet Granados. Present. Okay, people, excellent. Let's continue and I will show you what a phrasal verb is here. People, do you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, look. What is a phrasal verb? Que es una, un verbo phrasal? 
A phrasal verb is a verb combined with a preposition. Okay, look people. A phrasal verb is a verb combined with a preposition. Both the verb and the preposition create another definition away from their original meaning. Dice, un verbo frasal es un verbo combinado con una preposición. Ambos, el verbo y la preposición, crean otra definición muy lejana a la de su significado original. Yes? All right? Ok. Most of them, la mayoría de ellos, así es. Ok. Son pocos lo que significan casi lo mismo que, que, que se como, bueno, lo mismo. For example, for example, tenemos el verbo get. People, what is get? ¿Qué significa get? Tomar. Sorry. Tomar. Obtener. Adquirir. Obtener. Yes, yes, adquirir, tomar. Tomar, no, I don't think so. Mm. Ya yeah, tomar, pero, pero es diferente en ese caso. Es como agarrar. Yes, yes. Let me get it for you. Conseguir, ok. Hasta ahí dejamos. Conseguir, obtener. Obtain o okay. get. All right. That's what it is. But if I say, if I say get up. People, ¿qué quiere decir get up? Levantarse. Levantarse. Exactly right. It means levantarse. ¿De dónde sacan levantarse? Right? ¿De dónde? Get, conseguir, up, arriba. Get up, los unimos, levantarse. ¿Ok? Ese es un verbo frasal. ¿Ok? Que se combina con una preposición y cambia o creamos un nuevo significado o una nueva definición. Un verbo, bueno, tenemos el verbo get acá. Ese verbo get puede ir con una cantidad elevada de preposiciones. Increíble, la verdad. To be honest. Get off, get in, and get away. Observen. Get up, get off, get in, get away. También tenemos get, get on, get out, y get along. Un montón. Okay. People, get off. ¿Qué significa get off? Get off. No. Example, estamos en un bus o si estamos en un carro, en un avión, get off. Salirse. Ok. Bajarse. Apiarse. Yes. Ok. Bajarse. Exacto. De un, de un transporte. Example. Yes. Ese es get off. Imagínense get off. Get, conseguir, off, apagar. Si lo ponemos juntos, get off, bajarse. Right? That's what it is. Get in es entrar a un vehículo, ¿ok? Y es también a una clase o alguna actividad, get in, right? Ser parte de, o ser incluido en. Get away es escaparse, huir. Huir, ¿ok? Entonces, podemos poner un verbo. ¿Ok? Y a ese verbo le colocamos cualquier preposición, ¿Ok? Si ya está establecida, por supuesto. Y cambia o altera el significado completamente. Observen, get solo es un verbo, pero si ponemos preposiciones, tenemos un montón de significados. Un montón. Yes. All right. And this is the first one. El primero está acá. ¿Ok? Es lo que vimos en el libro, ¿Ok? In the book. We had this, this information in the book. Time up. Muchos tienen problemas con la pronunciación. It's difficult to pronounce. Yes, I know. I know it's difficult. Okay. Tighten, people. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten, tighten. Right. Tighten up. That's what it is. Tighten up means to make something become, become tighter, firmer, or less easy to move. Okay? Hacer algo, okay, más ajustado, más apretado, 
más sólido, dice acá, firmer es más sólido o más firme, o mucho menos fácil de mover, ¿ok? O sea, es difícil de mover. That's what it is. People, what is time now? ¿Qué significa time now? Apretar. Exactly, right, right. Ajustar, apretar. Examples. Carla, read examples, bien. Ya los ejemplos. With time up. Tighten up, tighten up, and uh, no, uh, I turn up the tires on, on once, in a blue, blue once, once in a blue moon. moon. In a blue moon. Continue, continue. Isaac. Tighten up the screw. The carpenter tighten up the tool before they use them. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for the for the for reading. I tighten up the tires once in a blue moon. People, once in a blue moon significa una vez al tiempo. Okay. Eso es un, un idiom, por cierto. Once in a blue moon, uh, uh, una vez al tiempo, ¿ok? Yes. Dice, aprieto o ajusto las llantas una vez al tiempo, right? That's what it is. The second example, Isaac tightened up the screws, ¿ok? Isaac apretó o ajustó los tornillos, ¿ok? The carpenters tighten up the tools before they use them. Los carpinteros ajustan o apretan sus herramientas antes de usarlas. Yes. People, I need to see, let me see. I need at least two people, por lo menos dos que me den un ejemplo con time up. Volunteers. Tighten up. Teacher, repeat again the example number two, please. The second example, I said tightened up screws. Tighten. Está tighten. Y luego está la D. Tightened. Tightened. Yes. Son de las palabras más difíciles que pronunciar. Son muy difíciles de pronunciar. To be honest. También está esto. Se lo voy a poner en el, en el chat. Creo que así es. No, no, no. My bad. I don't remember. La mandera, observen, ahí está en el chat. Like, one of the most difficult words to pronounce. They are difficult to pronounce. ¿Cómo lo pronuncia? Ese es amenazado. Threatened. Threatened. Solo así, sin, sin la ED es threatened. Como, como ese que está acá, tighten. Threatened. Ya con la D es threatened. It's difficult. Yes. It's difficult. Parece que solo son sonidos, va. Sonido raro. Exactly. Es que ese es el, uh, el sonido. Mm, mm. Tighten. Tighten. Mm. Es como, no, es, como no, es, una, es una letra, ninguna letra. Es mm, tighten. Tighten. Hay muchas palabras que se pronuncian así. Está comido, que es eaten. Ok, escrito, written. Ok. Seguro que es certain, cortinas, curtain. Hay muchas palabras que me usan así. Ok. People, examples, people, examples. I need examples. At least two people. Por lo menos dos. People. I tangled up my belt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ok. I tangled up my belt. All right. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you, Bernardo. Lightning. Esa es otra. Lightning. Lightning. No es lightning, es lightning. Lightning. Difficult words to pronounce. Okay, thank you for the example, Eduardo. Let's see. Jose Alexander is going to give us an example. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> Miren qué feliz, pues qué feliz se pone. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> 
you still think we start processing. People, hello. Please. Bernardo, hello, Sara, Tatiana. Do you do you tighten tighten up the boxes? The Okay, yeah, yeah. In the, in the car? In yeah, the yeah, car. yeah. It's it's working. It, it's fine, it's fine. It works. It works. Yes, yes. Okay, people, thank you, thank you. Let's continue with the next one. Okay. Remember, tighten up, apretar, ajustar. Okay. Clean up. Clean up is the next one, okay? Yes. It says to make a person, to make a person or place clean and tidy. Tidy, organizado, okay? Limpio, that's what it is. Yes. Clean up is limpiar, people, limpiar, right? That's what it is. Yes. What's the difference between clean and clean up, people? Clean and clean up. What's the difference between clean and clean up? Clean is adjective. No. Clean and action. It's ambas, it's ambas. Clean puede ser limpiar o puede ser limpio. Clean up es limpiar. The difference is simple. Clean es limpiar en general. Okay? Clean up se basa un poquito en específico que clean up es limpiar, pero levantando lo que está en el piso o en la cama o donde sea. Okay? Clean up. Limpiar, pero like quitar todo, right? It's like for very, very specific parts of the house. Example, the table, después de comer, clean up the table. Limpiar, pero you're, you're uh, lifting everything, like the, the recipients and everything. Okay. So clean, general. Okay. Clean up, specific, parte específica. Okay. Yes. Look, example. Uh, yes, Jose. Alexander. Read, please. Read examples. Okay. I have to clean up the kitchen before I leave. Mm -hmm. People should clean up before they go to work. And Jose never cleans up his office. It's filthy. Okay. Look, I have to clean up the kitchen. Before I leave, tengo que limpiar la, la cocina antes de irme. People should clean up before they go to work, okay? And Jose never cleans up his office. Filthy, sucio, okay? Es mismo que dirty. Dirty, filthy, sinónimos, okay? Let me see. Joanna is going to give us an example. Joanna, thank you, Joanna. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> I have, I have to clean up the uh, closet. Okay. All right. The closet. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. Sara, are you ready to use an example? Nope. Sara is not there. Karen? Okay, let me see, Bernardo. Nobody said it was easy. Yes, teacher. Hi. Can you please give us? Can you please give us an example with clean up? Yes, teacher. I told my daughter to clean up her room, and she didn't do it. <laughs> and she didn't do it. All right. I told my, grand, my, my, my daughter to clean up her room. All right, perfect. People, switch off. Switch off. Look, switch off. Es apagar, okay? But switch off, recuerden que switch se refiere a apagar o darse al switch, okay? Que se puede cambiar de dos formas, okay? Es como dar, girarlo, okay? Girarlo es turn, all right? Yes. Very good, let me see. So switch off to stop a device powered by electricity, okay? Yes, that's what it is. 
examples. Let me see down here. Carol. Hi, Carol. Read examples, please. Read examples, Carol. Thank you. I need to clean up my back, my handbag. Excellent. Good example. Good example. Example. She switched she off. Switched, no. Switched off. Okay. Can we, unamos, unamos la la. Es, es este, okay. Switched off. Switched off. Off. Switched off. Switch off. No. Off. Switched off. Switched off. Uh -huh, exactly. She switched. Switch up. Switch off. Switch off. <laughs> she switched off. No, no, no. Es, es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Wait, wait. Aquí lo que voy arriba, okay? Mire, aquí está. Ver. Esa, esa ED se convierte en una T. Okay? En la pronunciación. Entonces se une con la otra. Sería switch off. Off. Switch off. Switch off. Switch off the blender. Exactly, exactly. Mauricio switch off the video camera. Okay, video camera. Video camera. At night, Marta switch off the. Switches. Switches off. Switches off. Switches off. At AC. The AC. Okay, look. She switched off the blender. Ella apagó la. la ¿Cómo se dice blender en español? ¿Cómo dice blender en español? People, people, help me. Ecuador. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Ecuador. I didn't find the word. Okay, the Ecuador. Okay, blender. Mauricio switched off the video camera. Mauricio apagó, okay, la cámara de video. At night, por la noche, dice, Marta switches off the AC. Marta apaga el aire acondicionado. All right, people, let's continue. Call up. Call up is to use the phone to talk to someone, okay? Usar el teléfono para hablar con alguien o llamar a alguien. That's what it is. We got some examples here. I need a person to read the examples. Uh, let me see. Deftali, hi. Uh, for example, you need to call up your mother right now, for example. No, no, call up people. Uh, yes, 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 no, 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 but I need to read, to read, read, layer uh, examples here. Uh, I cannot call her up in the middle of the night. You can call up on the lift on the machine. And uh, if I, I am out, the boss called call to you up the trees already. Okay, look, I cannot call her up in the middle of the night. No puedo llamarle, okay? O llamarla a medianoche, okay? You can, you can uh, call up and leave a message if I'm out. Tú puedes llamar y dejar un mensaje si estoy fuera. The boss called you up twice already, okay? People, give me a second here. Well, that was close. That was close. Okay, people, call up Yamai, right? And now I need an example. Let me see. Eduardo, give us an example, please. Hi, Eduardo, can you hear me? No, no había activado el micrófono. Uh, I call up, uh, or oh, I call up I my phone today. Okay, okay, all right, all right. That's fine, that's fine. Let's continue, people. Look at this one. Wait, hold up. All right, look. Look at the definition. To stop being able to move or work in a normal way. 
This is, it says to stop being able to move or work in the normal way. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. Okay. Dejar de ser capaz de moverse o trabajar de forma normal. Okay. O más bien dañarse, arruinarse. Right? That's what it is. Let's continue. Look at the examples there. Look at the examples there. Let me see. Carlos Alberto. Hi. Carlos Castro, no. Hi, Just, teacher. Carlos, can you please can you please read the examples? Hello. Estoy pensando, teacher. No, no. Read, read. Lea los ejemplos. Okay. Yes. The watching. Yes. Watching. Matching total. Seize, seize that. Side. Seed. Oh, seize up. That. Seed. Up on Wednesday. Wednesday. The traffic at six. Ay, esa se me complica. Seize that. Seize up. Mm -hmm. Four meals because four of miles. the miles mm -hmm. because of the road work. Mm -hmm. yes. My motorcycle, 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 sit up, seize the seize. Sit up. Sips up. Mm -hmm. Seven times. I really, I always forget to put oil, oil, in, oil in it. Okay, okay. Thank you for reading. Thank you, thank you. The washing machine totally seized, seized up. Okay. Eso que está acá es de. D, la D, seized, seized up. Okay, lo unimos con esto que está acá. Seized up on Wednesday, the traffic had seized up for miles because of the roadworks. And my motorcycle has seized up seven times already. I always forget to put oil in it. Okay, arruinarse, averiarse, dañarse. Seized up, or seized up in this, in this case. Turn off, this one is very simple, okay. Look, it says there to stop giving electricity, electricity power to a machine by unplugging it or moving the switch. Okay, that's turn off. Apagar, okay, prácticamente. Emerson, read examples, please. Thank you, Emerson. Okay. The mechanic turned off the car when the gasoline was spilling mechanic mechanic yes the mechanic I turned stopped. off turned turned off okay and pasado the mm. turned turned off the car when gasoline was spilled spilled derramada okay yes my Is son my doesn't car? like continue continue I'm sorry my son doesn't like turn off the fan Okay, my son doesn't like to turn off the fan. The first one, el mecánico dice, apagó el carro cuando la gasolina fue derramada. My son doesn't like to turn off the fan. A mi no le gusta apagar el ventilador. Yes. All right. Very good. Next, I think this is the, oh, the extra ones. I have some extra, unas cuantas cuantas que son extra. I didn't erase the examples here, but let's come back here. Okay. Las que están acá, extra, miren, son muy comunes las que están acá, puro, poner, apagado. <laughs> no, it means to postpone, que es posponer, put off, posponer. Ok, call off, cancelar, take off, quitarse ropa, ok, o ca, bueno, quitarse alguna prenda, cualquier prenda. Give up, rendirse, run out of, terminar, o acabarse, de, de dinero, la gasolina, ok, yes, 
get along with, llevarse bien con, o tener una buena relación con, con alguien, and put up with tolerar. But if we have time, vamos a regresar aquí si hay tiempo después. Okay? Si hay tiempo, vamos a regresar. Now, let's continue with the next part. And the next part is in the book. Look, people, let me know when you get to see the book. Do you see the book? Yes. 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 How to use two word phrasal verbs. Some verbs are two part verbs. They consist of a verb and a particle or a small word like a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. Okay. Dice acá, la partícula usualmente o frecuentemente le da un nuevo significado al verbo. Okay. Yes. For example, take after. Tenemos take after, tomar después, agarrar después o llevar después, literalmente. Right. Look, it says, he takes after his father. Take after significa cuidar. No, right. Means se parece mucho. Cuidado es look after. Ya por me confundido. Ahí está en el chat. Look after. Se parece un montón. Look after. Ese es cuidar. Take, takes, takes after. Or take after significa que se parece mucho. Aquí está. My bad. Ok. Yes. Take after. Call off. El que les mencionaba anteriormente es que se cancelaron. Ok. Aquí está. Mary cancel the meeting. Ok. Yes, Mary called off the meeting. Lo mismo que canceló la, la reunión. Ok, yes. So that's what it is. So, entonces, recordemos. Un verbo puede unirse con una preposición. Ok, y esa preposición cambiará el significado del de verbo. Ok, no siempre, usualmente o pocas veces es lo mismo. Ok, pero mayormente es que cambian el significado. Ok, si ustedes buscan en internet phrasal verbs listado, le van a aparecer un montón. Ok, montón, people. Una lista infinita de, de esos, de esos phrasal verbs. Y de esta lista la mayoría se usan. Yes, yes, se usan bastante, se usan bastante. Ok. Se usan bastante. Por ejemplo, cuando, cuando decimos... Uh, no tengo gasolina. Se me acabó la gasolina. No decimos I finished my gasoline or I ended my gasoline. No es así. Entonces ahí se usa el, el, el phrasal verb. I ran out of gas. Se me terminó la gasolina. Ran out of. Ese que le mostré anteriormente. Luego lo veremos. Ok. Ahora. Acá tenemos tighten up. Ok. Tighten up. People switch. Switch up or switch off. Switch off. Right. Switch off, exactly, exactly. Switch off. Let me switch, off. Off. switch off, right? Up. What about clean? Clean? Clean up, right? Size off, size up. So, sorry, Z up, Z off or Z up? Z up. Z up. Z up, right? Turn off, call off. <laughs> Both are correct. Turn off. But turn off is the one, right? Turn off and call Call up. Yes. That's what it is, okay? Very good. Ahora, let's continue. Easy, right? Very easy. Number, part number five is this one. It says, can you pass me this, that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. Now, guys, continue with two, three, four, five, and six. Usemos los phrasal verbs. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes. Pues ya sabían perno, ok. Bolt. Tornillo un perno. Tornillo.
Hi, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Finish. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Karen, are you there? Hi, teacher. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Okay. Read the second one, Daisy. Okay. This workshop is very, very dirty. Let's. Okay. People, do you agree? Clean up. Up. Yes. Okay. Yes. This workshop is very. It is very dirty. Okay. Dirty. 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 Let's, yeah. Let's clean up this place. Uh -huh, exactly. Let's clean up this place, right? Okay. Like my web. All right, this set, this, the third one, the third one, let me see. Joanna, read number three, please. Okay. Uh, remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Okay, will be switch off. All right. It says, remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Number four, Miss Sotelo, can you read number four? Carla, hello. Hello, teacher. Siempre me olvida el micrófono. I have the computer one. Oh, Computer one, computer one uh, size up. Uh -huh. seize up. Seize up. Seize up again. Guys, do you agree? People, hello. No. No. The right answer mm -hmm. is turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Number five, Tatiana, read number five, please. No, she's not there. Okay. Let me see somebody else. Francisco, what about you? No, okay. Oscar? Yes, teacher. Oscar, read number four, I think. No, number five. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will size up. Seize. Seize up. up. Seize up. Yes, yes, okay. If you don't lubricate this, not this, okay? Eso está, no, no está bien. Es, sería this, 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 plural. Es plural. All right. So if you don't lubricate these, these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. Number six, people. Number six, uh, Imelda. Hello, teacher. Este, the printer use stop working. We need to uh, call out. Mm -hmm. Call out a, te a technician. Technician. 
Okay, if the printer just stops working, we need to call up a technician. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, it is correct. Now we're going to continue, guys. We do not have a lot of time. My mucho tiempo. Okay, there's not a lot of time, but we're going to work a little bit. Okay, haremos un aunque sea un poco un avance. Okay, look number six. Your turn. Role play. Student A. Okay, you are a supervisor. Student B, you are a maintenance personnel. You both, you both have to check that a machine has received the necessary maintenance. Ask and answer questions using phrasal verbs. People, and then number seven, present the conversation to your classmates and teacher. That's what we're going to do, okay? So, one student is going to be the supervisor and the other people, the other student or the other students are going to be the maintenance people, all right? That's what it is. We're going to do that, okay? Yes. People, let's join the groups. What, let me recreate them. Hacemos un poco más pequeños para que abunde la, la, las ideas, okay? Yes. Let's continue. There you go. There are like five people in each group. Four or five. Cuatro o cinco en cada grupo. People, let's go. Vamos. Join, please. Join, join, join. Uh, mm. The last ones are the first ones. The last ones are the first ones. No teacher. You are group number yeah. five. Yes. Yes. Okay, Teach. people. I'm going to go number two. Two pelones. No, Rado is there, I think. Ah, sí. Tres. <laughs> okay. eh, I think Jancy, I think Jancy is available. Jancy, hello. Okay, no. Okay. Vaya. No, 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 no sale, no sale era más fácil que esto lo dejáramos a, 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 a lo torno más al supervisor y ya personalmente. Vaya. Ajá. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Un bicuto, un bicuto. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ah, no, no quiere hablar. No, he, he can give ideas. Voy a aportar ideas. Yes. Ajá, para, para redactarla. ¿Y ¿Qué va a hacer, Carl? El, ¿El jefe el o el maintenance. subordinado? El subordinado. <risa> ah, el gato. <risa> el gato. <risa> Uh, vamos a ver. Okay. Hi. Um, can you help me? Can you help me? Uh, we. Pero con qué? Con mi vida. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> que. Okay, we... Clean us. 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 Clean us.
Suara bersuara baru dah dapat. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh my ear. Ah, así es, así se escribe. Así se escribe. Ah, sí, pues, bueno, está bien. Yeah, yeah, AC es más fácil. Can I say hi, boss? Sure. All right, continue, guys. Well, better. I'll be back. Sure. 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 Oops. Terminamos, teacher. No, no, no. It wasn't my idea. Fire. Super easy, right? <laughs> That's not fair. That's it, <laughs> y si somos cuatro, ¿cómo vamos a hacer A y B? Uno van a ser A y el otro B. Oh. What you can do is just choose two people. Eligen a dos. Ok. Eligen dos, exactly, yes. Ok. Vale. Vamos, vamos a seguir a... la estructura de esto. Uh -huh. Aquí en lugar de todo. Quería a Vladimir, ponga Vladimir. <laughs> no, but I think, I, I think Carlos is driving. Está manejando. Solo está, solo está usted. Vladimir. Emerson, Oscar y Carol. Vladimir está manejando. Yes, I'm driving. Yes, he's driving. Ah. Ah, Oscar y Carol. Y si Omara. Right. So, I need to use how you can pass me a key and what the. ¿Qué podría pedir? ¿Qué herramienta podría pedir? ¿Qué vamos a reparar? ¿Qué, ajá, ¿qué vamos a reparar? El aire acondicionado. Vale. Ah. ¿Y qué vamos a usar para reparar el aire acondicionado? Creo que podría empezar preguntando si llamaron al técnico. Como una para cambiar, para cambiar un poco lo que ya está. Uh -huh. Como un supervisor, como. Preguntándole, ajá. Llamaron. Ah, como diciendo que algo falló. Hello, the owning staff. Did you? Pasado, did you call up? Ok. Continue, guys. See you later. Ajá, es que ajá, para de un solo volverla a hacer, o sea, a esta manera. Así. Ah, I need to tighten up this screw. Karen, I need to. Um, pero en vez de tornillos, ¿qué le podemos poner? ¿Qué le podemos Karen? ¿Can you help me? Ajá. Can you help me? Help me. Ajá, y borre lo demás. Y el signo de pregunta. Uh -huh. Sure. Y ahí pongan el sure. What do you need? What do you need? Thanks a lot. Look, did keep, keep clean. Ahí va a tocar borrar todo. Sí, porque, porque no pega. Sería de apagar. Por eso, es que lo que pasa es de que puede borrarlo y acomodarlo a nuestra manera. No es necesariamente ser idéntico. Es agua, mire. Um, puede poner. Can you. Hi, what happened here? No hay nadie. Hello. Hello. Check. Are you guys working? Did you finish? Terminamos? Pues yo llevo un párrafo ahí. Ahorita voy avanzando. No está ahí, no sé qué onda. Más o menos. Soso.
we have to do a conversation together. Frozen. It's frozen. There you go. Hi, everybody. What happened? Hello, teacher. Hey, guys. Did you finish? Hey, <laughs> those. I don't, don't teach. You haven't finished? I think you are the only one in this group. Yes. Don't worry, people. It's okay, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. I understand. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. I'm going to continue checking the group, okay? Aquí de un solo me está... O sea, usted... Que siento que falta una después de aquí porque de un solo me está diciendo lo que tiene que hacer. Ajá. Quizás este, podríamos pensar en otras líneas aparte. ¿no? O sea, claro, claro, la puedo ayudar, algo así, o, o no sé. Porque primero me dice que le diga cuál es el problema. What is ah, the problem? Y un solo me dice que me lo va a limpiar y me lo va a usar. Uh, sería... Sería, I see. I... Dice, dice, in the third one, bueno, hi Carlos, que ya me a... Sure, can you tell me, can you tell me, could you tell me what the problem is? Quitemos la coma. What the problem is? What the problem? Le quito, le quito esto. Uh -huh. you yes. What the problem is? Is. Okay. The air conditioner throw a load of water. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Throw a lot of, a lot of water. ¿Qué? ¿Que bota mucha agua? Bota. No, 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 no. It's leaking, ponga de water. It's leaking. It's... Ahí está en el chat. It's leaking a lot of water. Leaking, jugando, jugando, lo mismo. Es fuga. Leak es fuga. Sí. Como que está boteando, jugando, ¿no? Oh. Ah, y aquí le podemos ver, está in, en y, y novela, ¿cómo podemos poner? What? And it does in Spanish. Spanish. It doesn't cool. It doesn't cool. It doesn't cool. Ahí tengo chat, it doesn't cool. Cool, cool, cool. 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 Así. Oh, ahí está en el chat, cool, doble E, doble O, L, así como cool. cool, cool. Uh -huh. okay. la, la parte es... esa no es low of water, sino que creo que es lot. Ajá, lot, con T. Ok. Vale, ¿qué me va a decir? Uh... Ahí no es de caro.
उसका हेलो हेलो Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Oscar. Emerson. Hola. Y dos veces dice Imelda. No sé si abajo sería Karen. Lee dos veces. Hi, right. No problem. Yes. Lo que pasa es que se me muerdo la lengua. Dos no, 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 no mordidas seguidas. Okay, that was funny, that was funny. All right. It is almost time, people. We're going to go back to the main session soon, okay? Okay. Almost, almost, almost time. Oh, yeah. Turn up. Turn up the AI condition. Eh? I will see you in the main session, okay? Ahí los veo. Y eso como se dice después de turn out. Si puede hacer un poquito más grande la letra. Of course. <laughs> Me pone Mister. con dos. Me pone el teacher con dos oyentes. Vaya. Bueno. Y le digo, póngame con una macizada, le digo yo. Sorry. Y me pone con otro oyente, teacher. No, ya no. Bye. Bye. Hi everybody. Well, the, it's almost time, so just one or two groups are going to present the activity. Okay, the first group is going to be yes, email last group. Thank you. Please. Whatever you have, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Hello, boss. Hello, boss. Uh, this morning, the uh, I see a stopper Easy. working. <laughs> Easy stopper working. Carol, this call at the technician of the IC. IC. Yes, I did. I called up a uh, real, uh, really to a, 8 a.m. Did you already try to rest? Nice. rest try, try to rest. Restore. Restore. Yes, I did. I tore again, and I have some uh, some problem. No, be there, be there. Call, call at. To the maintaining department. Maintenance, maintenance department. Maintenance department. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, you show door or while the machine is coming. The technician. The <laughs> is coming. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Thank you guys for, for sharing your activity, okay? Yes. <laughs> and one more group, Carlos Ernesto. You group and we finish, okay? Yes, because it is time, only one minute. Go, go.
people. Joanna have the presentation. Okay. Joanna has. Has. Yes. Hi, Carlos. I'm Aún no se ve, pero... Oh. Ahí. Ahí digo, ahí digo. Me, mi internet está fallando. Ay, hey, baby. Ya. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Can you help me with my air conditioner? Sure. Could you tell me what the problem is? The air conditioner is lacking a lot of water and doesn't cool. Okay, let me see. Thanks. What are you going to do? First, I have to clean up the filters and then tighten the hoses. Tighten up the hoses. Thanks for your help. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right, all right. Wow, that was a, <laughs> the best solution. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joanna, you can stop sharing. Thank you. Okay, people. We do not have more time. Let's just uh, update the attendance and then that's it. Okay, Carlos Castro. Present teacher. Carlos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Cecilia Menjivar. Daisy Resinos. Present teacher. Eduardo Núñez. Sorry. Present, my bad, my bad. Sorry. 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 Present teacher. Joanna Lisbeth, Lisbeth, sorry. Okay, teacher. Present. <laughs> Jose Carvajal. Present teacher. Jose López. Present teacher. Jose Rivera. Carol Escalante. Present. Luis Castillo. Present. Present, Present teacher. Bye. Neftali Ramirez, yes, yes, people. Good night, good night. Yes, hello. Oscar Magaña. Present teacher. Sara López. Present teacher. Tatiana Torres. Present teacher. Yancy Olivares. Present teacher. Carla Hernández. Present teacher. Carlos Guerra. Present teacher. And Karen Granados. Present teacher. People, we have finished. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. And have a good rest. Can I cancel? Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Give me a second, Oscar. He doesn't have a microphone. Wow. Okay, that's okay. Oscar, uh, well, tenemos un par de minutos para poder aclarar cualquier duda que usted tenga, pregunta, conclusión de los temas que hemos visto de las clases, plataforma, cualquier cosa que tenga duda. Acá estamos. Microphone. Ok. Eh, tenía un poco de dudas con el presente. Perfecto. Ajá, pero di un repaso a la clase y creo que me quedó un poco más claro. Porque es el verbo el que cambia, ¿verdad? Ese es el único problema hoy, con dificultad, el verbo. 
Okay. Lo demás es muy sencillo, vemos lo, lo difícil porque hay que memorizar la, la, la forma. ¿Y el tiempo para usarlo puede ser cualquiera o solo es en...? Pasado participio. Pasado, eso, eso es lo solo, que quizás... Solamente ese se puede usar en, en, esa, en esa estructura, solamente ese tiempo se puede usar del verbo. Recuerde que cada, cada verbo tiene cinco formas. Bueno, tres, tres digamos. La forma original la pasada y la pasada participio, ¿sí? Eso. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia entre el pasado normal y el pasado participio? Ok, muy bien, le voy a explicar aquí, en este momento, espérame, lo abro, abro el documento acá para escribir. It's taking a few minutes, a few seconds. Comparto la pantalla. Ok, acá voy a explicar cómo se usan estas cosas. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok. We lost him. I lost him. Well, hopefully you get one thirty lesson. Form past form. And past. Let's see. Okay, Oscar, you lost connection. That's okay, no problem. All right, but I'm going to explain this to you, okay? So, each verb has three forms. Cada verbo tiene tres formas, okay? Original, pasado, y pasado participio. Hay dos más, que son la de la S y la ING, pero es aparte, okay? So, let me choose a verb. Take, que es agarrar, sujetar, llevar. Okay, that is take. En pasado llevé, agarré o tomé, que es took. Y pasado al principio es tomado, llevado, agarrado, taken. All right? Here, I take the bus at 6 a.m. Yo tomo el bus a las 6 de la mañana. Right? This one is in the past form. Pongámoslo que tomé o agarré el bus. I took the bus at 6 a.m. yesterday. Ok, tomé el bus a las 6 de la mañana el día de ayer, yesterday. Y he pasado a participio que es taken, que es tomado, agarrado o llevado. Es el que se usa para el presente perfecto. Ok, lo pondremos acá. Mire, present. Perfect. Ok. Que se usa en presente perfecto. También se puede usar en otras estructuras. Ok. Pero por el momento dejémoslo con el presente perfecto. Ejemplo. I have taken the bus many late. Hi. Me adelanté, mire. Se me apagó la compu. Estaba, estaba explicando solo. <risa> no, no. Sí, sí. sí, estaba explicando solo, es verdad. Estaba explicando. Pero bueno, ya que regresó, muy bien. Te explico. Te explico. Okay. Y observa acá, tenemos un verbo en sus tres formas más, más comunes. Ok. Ok. Bueno, bueno, repito. Cada verbo tiene cinco formas. Ok. Aparte de estas que están acá, hemos quitado la ING y la S. Eso va aparte, ¿ok? Ok. Tenemos la forma original o la forma base, como se llama acá, base form, que es take, que es tomar, agarrar, llevar o sujetar. 
Ok. okay. Sí, en presente. Como ejemplo puse, I take the bus at 6 a.m. Yo tomo el bus a las 6 de la mañana. Ok. O okay. agarro el bus a las 6 de la mañana. Ese es presente. Sí. El pasado, took. Ok. Que es tomé, agarré, llevé o sujeté. All right. Example, I took the bus at 6 a.m. yesterday. Tomé el bus a las 6 de la mañana ayer. Ok. O me subí al bus a las 6 de la mañana ayer. Ahora, taking, que es el pasado participio que vamos acá arriba, se usa no solamente para este que está acá, que es el presente perfecto. Ok. Se usa para otras estructuras, pero por el momento dejémoslo con presente perfecto. Ok. Acá okay. está. Taken, que significa tomado, agarrado, llevado o sujetado. Ok. Y dice acá, I have taken the bus late many times. Me he, he agarrado, dice acá, he agarrado el bus o me he subido al bus tarde muchas veces. Entonces, se usa para, bueno, el verbo que se usa o la forma que se usa es la que termina en o. Agarrado, sujetado, ok. Podríamos cambiar el verbo comer, sería comido, ok. Beber sería bebido, escribir sería escrito, etc. Ok. Así okay. sería. Prácticamente de aprenderse los verbos. Sí, eh, sí, la verdad que sí, prácticamente es lo que hay, que hay que hacer. Ok. Más que todo, más que todo los verbos irregulares, lo que cambian de forma, ok. Porque okay. están los, con, los que están con los, con los que están con ed, los que están con ed es lo mismo, pasado pasado participio es lo mismo, porque okay, no cambian okay. la forma, entonces no es complicado. Yes. Okay, teacher, it's clear. Okay. All right. Do you have more questions? Más preguntas? No, teacher. Solamente. Okay. Muy bien. Entonces, Oscar, un placer. Gracias por quedarse. Okay. Gracias. Good night. Okay. Cuídense mucho. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Y descanse. Bye. Bye-bye.